wanted to bring a country's security down, I would put 800 plus thousand people in with top secret and above top secret clearances to spy on everybody. Because then foreign corporations and governments pay them off, blackmail them, compromise them, and you got full penetration. See, because these doors are two way. And that's why our country is completely penetrated seven ways to Sunday. It's so absurd. I don't even know what to say at this point. They've built back doors in all the major computer chips, all the major computers, all the switches, all the telecoms on record. Globally, it's been standardized. So now it's an orgy of governments and corporations just breaking in, stealing, swapping, planting, framing. To clearly wreck the first internet that's the big organic one and to bring in their new certified one that's all biometrically accessed. And that's their admitted plan. I told you 15 years ago, now it's admitted. And, I, and I'm not saying I told you, I told you, I told you, because I, I, I'm up here on the ego trip, folks. You need to understand my narrative of what's going on is super accurate. And if they shut me down or something, you need to know this is precious information. You can replicate it. What I've reverse engineered. Our particular insight into how it works. They tried to put William Binney in jail two separate times, claiming he violated national security for speaking out against the NSA. He's going out there to defend your right to privacy, and they are trying to put him in jail. They've tried to put Wayne Madsen in jail. He had guys breaking in and following him. He had to leave the U.S. for six months a few years ago. I mean, this is real, and I'm not up here whining about it. I'm just saying it's real. It's real. It has nothing to do with keeping you safe. The border is wide open. The government ordered the Border Patrol since January to load the illegals on the buses with no ID and give them a computer voucher that Greyhound will accept for a month to take them anywhere they want in the country. But the NSA... And police departments are grabbing the data of political people and tracking everything and, and doing all this. And they're framing Congress and, 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 and MI6 has been caught blackmailing Parliament. This is bureaucracies and 880,000 private people and over a million government people with top secret and above top secret clearances just in a clearinghouse of corruption and infiltration and takedown. Do you have any idea, I'm sure you do, that previously to 9-11, they had all this NSA data, and they didn't use it, and they stood down. That's come out. So, A, it didn't keep you safe. Now they say more spy will keep you safe when they are the ones that gave 600 tons of weapons to ISIS just last year. And now they're saying all over the news, imminent attack. Get ready, they're gonna hit us in the US. They're gonna hit us just like I it's it's like it's like watching paint dry, it's so obvious. I, it's a total narrative because they think the media thinks they've got such control, which they don't have. People see what they're doing, they're just there with their mouth hanging open, that they're going to be able to let ISIS or whatever new name they've given it. Durka, Durka, Muhammad, Jihad, whatever you want to call it. I mean, you could call that the new group. People would buy it. Some of them would buy it. Blow up stuff, shoot up. In fact, they were saying today on CNN, they might do something like shoot up a school. I said two days ago. I just, uh, It's a nightmare, and I just want to stop it, ladies and gentlemen, because it's not just going to be the kids they're going to mow down, 100 of them or something, or the shopping mall they're going to take over. It'll be real jihadi nutbags that were brought here to do it. Whacked out of their minds, having no idea who they even work for. It will be my guns and your guns and my property and your property and my kids and your kids and all our freedom because we're the target. Let me tell you who the target is. You're hard work and you're not corrupt. You built a company. They're going to rob you. You got a pension fund. They're going to rob you. They want you. They want to dominate you. The globalists want to break America forever. And bring in unlimited poor people to bring in socialism, and we'll just sink into the mud and be a big military 
uh, mercenary production factory form, and that's it. And within 10 years, it'll all be robots. They don't even need us. This is the takedown of America, the destruction of this country. Mark my words, that's the plan. Your calls are coming up at special reports as well. Listen up. All Financial news, some carbon tax news, and some other uh, Ebola news and, and, and news from InfoWars that I want to get to. Right now, let's talk to Jeff in Arizona. Thanks for holding. You're on the air. Uh, thanks, Alex. Thanks for having me on. So, thanks for calling. Absolutely. I told you sooner that I wanted to talk about transhumanism. Real quick, can I just address how the New World Order is going to attack patriots? Yeah, we've got open China. phones, man. You can talk about whatever you want. Go ahead. Well, basically, they're going to do it through civil war. Um, everyone asks, well, how? How could they possibly get away with targeting tea partiers and uh, gun owners? The forming of the North American Union is going to be the pretext for that. Basically, yeah, they're going to break off part of the Southwest and give it to Mexico as a sub-region. That's an admitted plan, and people aren't going to go along with it. And they're going to push people till they become violent in the United States. Absolutely, all of, all of us Constitution lovers are going to become their new enemy. Um, next, I want to talk about transhumanism. And this really at the top, as you know, is Luciferianism. Um, all of us are here on earth, essentially, to learn how to have faith in God, to have faith in Jesus Christ. Satan stands in complete opposition to that plan. Uh, he does not have a body, and so his goal is to destroy us. His goal is to destroy our bodies, the vehicle in which God has blessed us with to carry out that eternal plan of learning how to trust in him and progress and have full faith in his son, Jesus Christ. Um, transhumanism is the lie that Lucifer has given the globalists. That's how he offers yeah. eternal life or godhood back to the apple. Correct, correct. You're absolutely right, Alex. I want well, it's not hard. I mean, look at Apple with the Apple symbol, with the bite out of it. They're, they're openly telling you what they're doing. I mean, I could play clips of top transhumanists saying, we're going to become gods, get out of our way, or we'll kill you. I mean, this is their attitude. That's right. We think of God, our, our God, as the ultimate engineer of our bodily machines, and Satan is trying to mimic that to deceive us, all of us, even the globalists, who we need to pray for, for a change of heart, to deceive them, to possess their bodies, and ultimately get complete tyranny to destroy us. Well, look at how all of the computer stuff they come out with has a, another use than what they tell us, and is meant to dumb us down, spy on us, lower our awareness, lower our psychological uh, brainwaves. Everything the globalists deploy is destructive. It always sounds great, it's addictive, it's wonderful, until we get deeper into it. I hear you, good points. Let's talk to Michael in California. You're on the air. Hello. Yes, sir. Uh, I want to say amen to the fellow that just was on. And uh, my thoughts uh, continue on. Um, I am a Roman Catholic layman who is an exorcist. And I found out that Catholics who have the Sacrament of Confirmation, which is the descent of the Holy Spirit upon the apostles at Pentecost, can do exorcisms, but they don't know it. The knowledge was hidden 1,794 years ago. The reason I know this is because a colleague of mine and I, from 84 to 90, did research on the church, and uh, we found this out, and we worked with a priest who was a personal friend of John Paul II. He met John Paul in 1938 in Poland. He was one of the priests that mentored him into the priesthood and protected him from the Nazis. Father continued and then protected him against the Soviets. And uh, Father was uh, caught by the Soviets and kept in a gulag um, until 1947 <clears throat> when the State Department, under the influence of Rome, was told that where he was and that he was an American citizen, and so they finally coughed him up in 1947. Uh, he was brilliant, and we we uh, sort of brainstormed with him at the time he was 80, and but he was brilliant. What was his uh, name? He, pardon me. What was his name? Oh, uh, Father. Um, oh my gosh, I'm getting a metal block. He died in 80, in 91. 
Anthony Saran. Father oh, you want to do a YouTube video about that or write an article about it. It's very interesting. And I'm interested to hear what he had to say about exorcisms because uh, I tell you, a lot of people, it's like mental illness is like viral or something. And it's like they're demon possessed. Mentally ill people I've dealt with, someone's normal. And then suddenly they're like evil and bad. I want to talk about it more when we come back. We're Stay on the there.